Welcome back to another video going over what sold with Specialty Freedom. So today I'm going to go over what sold and how much. Again, this is another one that's eBay versus Macari. See who did better, see what they sold for, see what I'm selling. So hopefully you can sell something just the same. So let's kick it off with eBay today. I had a Rolling Stone shirt. No, it is not vintage. This is just a brand new one. You probably get it like Hot Topic, Walmart, Target, something like that. It only sold for $9, um, but I did pick it up for $2 at a Goodwill. So after fees and everything, it's only like a $6 profit, but it is a profit in itself. So I took it. Again, this also helps with the velocity of your store. Uh, this is something I always talk about. Getting more sales regardless of the price sometimes, even if you just get your money back, eBay will give you more sales because they see that people like your items, they're buying their items. As long as you're not getting returned, it's actually a good thing to have. So up next, this one's actually a little bit unique. So it's a polo golf, let me fix that, polo golf shirt. This label specifically always does really well for me. Uh, but this is actually my second time selling this exact same shirt, but in a different color. So this is actually a U.S. pipe shirt. Uh, I put it as employee. Uh, I get the feeling that there is a U.S. pipe uh, employee that is buying these. Um, I sold the last one for $20, uh, but that one was black and an XL. This one was a large, so it only sold for $16, like I said. $16 was a little bit low, but it sold really quick. Uh, I got this for $0.50. Cents. It flipped in 24 hours, though, so I have no complaints. Turn $0.50 cents into $16, so really good profit margin. But that specific polo golf does really well. This one I actually marked down because it is a um, U.S. pipe shirt. If it was a regular one, I probably would have posted it for $30 because I've sold those and those do make a lot of money. Next up, I actually have an anime shirt. This one's a little bit weird. A lot of people don't like this kind of stuff. It's a little bit creepy. Uh, it's a Pokadoki shirt. Um, again, I posted this three days ago. Uh, it did sell for $12 full asking. Um, that's, an, again, another thing I always pick up is anime shirts. That is something that always does very well for me. There's always a fan base. If an anime has a shirt, that usually means it has a fan base. If it has a fan base, you're going to have buyers. Just make sure to check it because if it's a newer anime, it probably sells at Walmart or Target. Make sure not to overprice it, but if older animes actually do better. So like a vintage Dragon Ball Z or Bleach or something like that, they always sell for more. So just be on the lookout for that. Next one up is just a regular Jimmy John shirt, XL. This is one of those, I picked it up for 50 cents and I did sell it really cheap. Uh, it was only $7. So again, I know a lot of people don't like cheap sales. They're like, it's not even worth picking up, but it helps the velocity. I did make a profit like $4.50, which at my thrift store, like I said, I'm picking them up for 50 cents. So that just bought me nine more items. That will be better, right? So a lot of times I pick up employee uniforms. They always sell quick for me, always make some money that then I can go turn around and make more. Last up, this one was actually a really odd one to even try to list. Uh, it's Cutter and Buck, but it's a Valero Texas Open golf one, right? So it's kind of really hard to list. And I say that because if you put Valero, a lot of people are going to be looking at it as like a Valero shirt, right? An employee shirt. But this one's actually a golf shirt. And it has to be something that's very specific. Something that either really likes golf or went to the exact event or has an interest in it. So that was a very hard one to sell. But I did get full ask and I put it for $20. I picked this one up for $0.50 cents again. So $0.50, cents, $20, not complaining. So overall, that was actually a really good find in my book. And that was all my sales for eBay just for today. Oddly enough, I post at night and it seems like I get more sales at night after I make these videos. So it's always really funny to me. But I only had five sales for eBay. We're going to transition over now to Macari. This one was actually kind of cool. So it's like a tie-dye uh, Japan Tokyo, uh, but it's on a Gildan tag. And I made sure to put that in the description because this is copied off of another one. Uh, Poison Ivy, I think it's called. That one's worth like 50 bucks. This one did sell for $20 though. Uh, one thing I can definitely say has been doing extremely well for me all year round is anything tie-dye. Tie-dye must be back in style because anything I'm gonna post tie-dye, it sells super quick. So this one was $20. Uh, it did sit for four weeks, which is really long for my store, but it sold full asking. So I have no complaints, right? And again, it's a Gildan, right? That's just kind of a no-name, usually blank t-shirt people are buying. So I'm not really complaining about it, uh, but that's probably why it took so long. Next up, we got a Smokey the Bear. <laughs> you always gotta make sure there's actually branded Smokey the Bear. So a lot of people try to sell Smokey the Bear, but it's Gildan or Fruit of the Loom or something. That is not an actual Smokey the Bear. Um, that's something to definitely be on the lookout for because you're not gonna get full asking. This one sold for $15. So I've sold a ton of Smokey the Bear. So I spent $2 at a Goodwill knowing it would sell because I've sold a lot of these. But what I can tell you is color matters with Smokey the Bear for some reason. This brand specifically has been killing me. So if I pick up gray, it'll price off for $5. But if I pick up blue, it sells for actually like $20. Now black sells for less like 15 and green usually does 15 to $25. So I've sold about 
I don't know, 15 to 20 of these shirts, every time I've learned that color does matter. So if it's gray, I actually do not pick it up. Uh, I leave it alone now, I've realized that. But if it's a colored one, I will pick it up. Now red, I had one, it sat for 90 days, I only got $6 for it. So I don't know if that was a one-off, maybe it was just the size, it was not XL or what it was, but I will say green and blue do extremely well. So if you see a Smokey the Bear, pick it up. And again, I do definitely apologize about my background. A lot of it is I'm in transition of building more shelves. So I'm having to move a lot of stuff around my garage uh, that isn't even all reselling. Um, so I'm having to reorganize, which is always funny because uh, it always makes my videos look a little weird. Uh, but I will say, like I said, velocity matters. So one tip, today's tip of the day in this video is actually velocity does matter. And I say that because if you don't accept offers and you make even counter offers, I've noticed that my sales will drop. So some of the reason why I had such low sales today, uh, it's not a bad day, right? Seven, and I'll probably get two to three tonight and it'll end up being 10, but that's still pretty bad. And part of that is because I've been testing it. So if I don't like an offer, I'll either hit decline or I'll hit counter. And so I've been testing it out. If you do decline a lot of offers, your sales will just drop. So again, I usually average 10 on eBay for a Macari a day. That dropped off. So when I was declining offers, I only had two sales a day maybe for eBay. Now counter offers, I'm noticing I only got seven. So I accepted some offers here, but I also made a lot of counter offers and I'm testing out this theory to see if counter offers work the same as accepting or if it's like a mix between the two. So I can definitely let you know on the next one and thank you for watching and have a good day. Oh yeah.